Hey guys, welcome back to Coach Hall Writes. I wanted to bring some information to your attention that I recently found out because I tried the demo with my iPhone and I tried taking pictures and I thought everything was fine. And I remember the college board saying that if the demo worked, then you were good to go. However, it has come out that iPhones actually don't take pictures in one of the approved formats. And so if you haven't read every single update from the college board, you might not be aware of the fact that you actually need to make sure that you change your settings on your iPhone and turn it into something that will take a JPEG. So that is one of your options. So I wanted to show you guys how to do that because I think this is going to be the simplest option for those of you who intend to handwrite an AP exam and take a photo on your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, if you have a different type of device, then these tips don't apply to you. But there are other things in the video that you might want to consider. The first thing you need to do is find your settings icon. So you're going to tap that and then you're going to scroll down until you see camera. Once you tap on camera, it should have a screen that looks like this. You need to click on formats and then you're gonna have two options. The one that's the default is high efficiency and then there's another one that says most compatible. You need to click on most compatible because that is going to allow you to take pictures in the JPEG format, which is what you need for the AP test. Something that students need to be aware of is that if you are intending to airdrop your photos, it might actually revert back to the original format type. A fellow AP Lang teacher tried this last night and she emailed the file and it was fine, but when she airdropped it to her MacBook, it reverted back. And so if you are trying to do that and submit from your laptop, then you need to be aware of how to change it. There's an additional step you would need to take perhaps, but I know that most students submitting photos are gonna be submitting from their phone and not trying to airdrop it, but that is something to be aware of. I should also point out that there are different free scanner apps and you can actually use the notes app on your phone. There is a way to take a picture and turn it into a PDF there. I looked up the instructions for it. I was going to demo it, but guys, it seemed a lot more involved than just simply changing your settings. So if you've already done this in the past and you know how to do it, maybe you've done it for distance learning and you're comfortable with it, then go for it. But if not, I think just changing your settings is going to be the easiest solution. If you do decide to take a picture and have it turned into a PDF, you need to remember that a PDF is a text file, not a photo. AP for Students actually tweeted about this earlier today, so you wanna make sure that you're actually uploading the correct file type. One of the benefits of the AP Lang test is that it is in the second week. So while I don't think we need to stress ourselves out by worrying about what has or has not happened to other people, I do believe it is important to be informed and hopefully learn from some of the glitches or possible errors that are happening to other people so that we can be prepared. And one thing I've heard from a variety of teachers is that basically it seems like the easiest method for students so far, the one with the least amount of complications, has simply been to type on a laptop or computer and copy and paste. And so if that is one of your options that you're considering, you might want to know that so far that has been the one that seems to have been the least stressful for students. But again, just because something happened to somebody else doesn't mean it's going to happen to you but that being said, I do know how important these AP tests are to students, and I want to make sure that students are as informed as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you are actually practicing taking your exam with the device and in the method that you intend to use on test day. I also recommend that you have a plan B just in case, but use the method and the device that is most suited to your circumstances and your situation. If you're taking an AP test this week, guys, good luck, and until next time, happy writing!